Welcome to my allotment diary for the second week of August 2019. As every week for this time of year, it starts with a weekly veg harvest. My wife was not keen on the car I harvested last week as they nearly boiled away, so it's back to the nading for now. I thought on last year's results, the car was okay. I'll have to go trialling again. There is still the King Edward's trial, and the volunteers... Now there's a thing. The volunteers are from potato peelings, and potatoes my wife purchased. Let's see how these fare. Work on the plot continued where we left off, which was the painting of the hedge wall. The hired help volunteered for this job, to which I agreed, providing he could complete the task in the allotted cl clip time of 60 seconds. Off you go, mate. You failed. You sat. I had left the hedge clippings in a heat to dry out, but with the hot drying weather and corn growing in the next field, a fire would not be a sensible road to go down. So it was bagged and taken to the tip. Area cleared, another pallet selected, the lats on the back of the pallet removed and protruding nails hammered in. Reforming the pallet proceeded into making it a deck. Pallet turned over, gaps in between were fixed in position with the remaining gaps filled in with short ends. A couple of slit trenches formed underneath the bearers to level the base. Check for level. A little bit of adjustment. Check again for level, though I did give this one a little fall to the front to get rid of rain. We now make a start on the second pallet, which has a different makeup. One cannot always find similar constructed pallets, so one needs to study them and work out the nature of an adaption. In this case, there are no lats available on the underside, therefore each lat is removed in turn and refixed, closing the gaps.
as before the shortfall in lats is made up from short ends. Falling ground level is deceiving at this point. There's about eight inches of fall, which I have made up with an additional bearer. Having sacked the hired help, it's left to yours truly to paint the decking. We now come to the object of the exercise the repositioning of the toolbox. Every time I have moved this toolbox, I have re revealed beneath it the home of some animal. And today is no exception. I can only hope it was a common shrew with their insatiable appetite for devouring slugs. A plastic toolbox is like a one-eyed three-legged donkey, a winky wonky donkey. The box flexes, which is why this time it is positioned on a level platform. The lid has been blown off more times than soft mick. It therefore requires strengthening. Supports are required to carry tools, so that when closing up at the end of a session, gaps caused by missing tools can be found and positioned. The amount of timber required to fulfil this dream will constitute a wood toolbox in its own right. I can only feel another pallet project is coming on. Now keep calm. Take a deep breath and keep taking the tablets. While sat here in front of my computer editing this upload, outside the wind is howling and rain is lashing on the window. So how are you coping with the weather? Will my toolbox be still there? Hopefully we will see on the next upload. Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share the video. Also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell to get an alert every single time I upload a new video. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye.